And it is 9 o'clock. Good evening, everyone. I'm Brian Allen. And I'm Cordell Wright. As we first alerted you two weeks ago, the two black truck drivers who were refused service at a Sioux Falls Denny's last month were joined by their attorneys in a news conference today. They are continuing to speak out about the racism and humiliation they say they felt that day. It is our 9 o'clock top story tonight. August 13th, 2023, uh, we went back in time. Uh, we went back in time to Jim Crow where black and brown people weren't allowed to sit in lunch counters. At today's press conference, we got our first introduction to Harry Daniels and Erica Wilson, the civil rights attorneys that are representing Damon Whitfield and Hector Madura. We're hoping that both myself and attorney Daniels can not only provide the best advocacy for our clients, but we can provide advocacy in such a way that this never happens to anybody at any other establishment because of what we do here with Denny. Both Hector and Damon continue to voice how they've never encountered racism like this. It was embarrassing. Um, just, I've never been kicked out of any place in my life. And when the police were called on us like that, you know, it's like I couldn't help but feel that they were intending to, you know, for the police to come at us aggressively. This is another opportunity to bring awareness to a situation that's unfortunate for us. Um, there's many people out there that go through this stuff and a lot of this stuff is swept under the rug. I think more needs to be done about it. Then these need to be held accountable. After the release of the 911 call, we've learned the regional manager on the other end of the phone wasn't even in the store at the time. So I'm the regional manager. I'm actually getting ready to head in there. Um, I'm about 20 minutes out. Who doubled down on what was said without even having true knowledge of it, of what happened. And that person, you know, is held equally responsible because one, they told law enforcement something that was not true. And I'm not gonna go into the legal leaves of it. Me and Erica will deal with that later. At this time, no lawsuit has been formally filed, which is why we've chosen not to release the names of the Denny staff members involved. However, attorney Daniels did say a lawsuit could be expected soon. We can't go back to turn by the hands of times or what Hector and Damon felt, uh, but we can ensure a file a lawsuit, a claim to ensure and hope that Dennis would take responsibility uh, for his actions and responsibility. Uh, what they look like, we'll find out. 